All right, prepare yourself, y'all. Prepare yourself. There's going to be a number of Democrats, the most pathetic, spineless, weaselly, valueless Democrats who have no moral core. They are going to recalibrate in this current system, and they're going to orient themselves to, we got to be more pro-Trump than we were. That's what they'll do. In their mind, it's like survival of the fittest, got to adjust. And they don't think that, hey, politics should be about having morals and values and ethics and just standing for something. They don't believe that at all. These are spineless little weasels. And so what many of them will do is, we already saw this from Seth Moulton. Yeah, let's throw trans people under the bus. The first, his first comment after the election was like, bro, maybe the Republicans are right about trans people, bro. And you're going to see others do similar things. So I have a great example of it for you right here. This is Jared Polis, former member of Congress, governor of Colorado, current governor of Colorado. Okay, ready? Colorado is a deep blue state. Ready? So here's what, here's what he said after RFK was picked for Health and Human Services. I'm excited by the news that the president-elect will appoint RFK to House and Human Services. He helped us defeat vaccine mandates in Colorado in 2019 and will help make America healthy again by shaking up HHS and FDA. I hope he leans into personal choice on vaccines rather than bans, which I think are terrible, just like mandates. But what I'm most optimistic about is taking on Big Pharma and the corporate ag oligopoly to improve our health. Before you mock him or disagree, I want to share with you some quotes that if he follows through... Show why I'm excited. Quote, Level the playing field for Americans internationally on drug costs. Cap drug prices so that companies can't charge Americans substantially more than Europeans pay. Yes, Colorado currently has an application just sitting at FDA for us to import low-cost prescription drugs from Canada, and we just need their approval. In some categories, there are entire departments like the nutrition department at the FDA that, are, that have to go, that are not doing their job. They're not protecting our kids. Yes, the entire nutrition regime is dominated by big corporate ag rather than human health, and they do more harm than good. Quote, We've got to get off pesticide-intensive agriculture. Yes, we have tried unsuccessfully to better protect people and pollinators from harmful pesticides here in Colorado, and we need all the help we can get to take on big chemical companies and improve human health and the environment for our pollinators and our people. He will face strong special interest opposition on these, but I look forward to partnering with him to truly make America healthy again. And I hope we can finally make progress on these important issues. So that's what he was saying now. Uh, what was he saying? I think this is just a few months ago. This is not that long ago, what you're about to see here. This is very recent. He says, he's quote, uh, quote tweeting somebody who brings up RFK. RFK Jr. on Fox News. I'm going to be campaigning actively with Trump. I want to make America healthy again. Jared Polis said, not sure how bringing back measles and bringing back polio makes anyone more healthy. That's what he said. Before the election, yeah, fuck this guy. He's a crank. He's for junk science. He doesn't actually care about these issues. He's going to make public health worse. After Trump wins, oh, let me talk about all these areas where I agree with him. Maybe we'll make America healthy again together, bro. What a little fucking weasel. What a little weasel. There was no hedging in this old comment. There was no, hey, I really disagree with him on some things, but on other things, I actually kind of agree. There was none of that. It was this fucking idiot's going to bring back measles and polio because he's completely anti-vaccine. So, uh, needless to say, which Jared Polis is right? The old one. RFK thinks Wi-Fi causes cancer, doesn't believe in AIDS, literally. Doesn't think um, HIV leads to AIDS. He thinks it was the gay lifestyle that made people die. Thinks COVID was created by Jews and Chinese and it doesn't infect them. Thinks fluoride makes kids trans, is against all vaccines, contributed to the measles death of 83 people, mostly kids, in Samoa, and he committed sexual assault. So which uh, Jared Polis was right? Uh, needless to say, it's the, the older one. The, the old comment he made is way more correct than this new one where he's... He's bending the knee to power, right? He sees, oh shit, the energy is that way. Okay, fine. I'm with you guys. By the way, this is the kind of thing which makes Democrats incredibly unlikable. It's this. When has Trump ever even changed a take of his 1% to try to hop on board with 
the opposition party at a time when they're popular. Has he ever done that? If you disagree with Trump 1%, he'll destroy you. A Democrat, this guy, Polis probably disagrees with this guy 98%, but now it's, I'm going to write a long essay on the 2% where I agree with you and paint you as a good guy. How about you actually fucking stand for something? How about you actually believe in something? How about you actually have a spine and a set of values and policies and advocate for it relentlessly? And steamroll those who disagree. But no. No. He'd rather go like this. Mm. Which way are the winds of power going, sir? Oh, they're going that way? Oh, I better go that way. God, I fucking hate them so much. And uh, the de Democrats need to know. If you guys start bending the knee to Trump now, at the beginning of his second term, I hope all of you lose in primaries. I hope all of you get wiped out. Because the message is not, hey, now bend the knee because he won the popular vote. Fuck that. No, you still fight and stand for something and not the bullshit he stands for. But I don't know how many of them are going to get that message. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.